I feel better for that shower. Good. Thanks for coming, Mel. Oh. I got here as soon as I could. You mean your business isn't collapsing without you? Priorities, David. Mum needed me. Hey. I'm sure you would have had something to say if I hadn't come. Stop it, you two. David, put the kettle on. What the hell do the police think they're playing at? I don't know, no. They can't think you did it, surely. Well, David thinks they're just going through the motions. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they just go after the last person to see him alive. So if it was murder, it was mum, but it wasn't, so it isn't. If Sherlock's theory isn't right, I'm gonna stay a while. And do what? Be here. If you want me to be. Of course I do. Make a bed up. Good. I've got some business here anyway, so I won't get under your feet. If the kettle's on, I'll have a coffee, please. Milk. No sugar. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, she's here. It's for you. It's the police. First race at Lingfield. Had a tip. From the tip, actually. Hey, local works here. Where we're tech wagon. Oh, right, yeah, sorry, mate, I forgot. Bin man, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's uh, one of them who knows a bloke whose cousin gave Jockey a lift once. Yeah, they book his favourite tip, does them. He gets one right once in a while. Today could be that day. Nah. Right, Trev. I thought I'd get one of them dinosaur cakes from Freshco. All oh, right, love, well, excuse And jelly, strawberry or orange. Oh. Strawberry every time. What's this? Special tea for Janice? No, Simon, my six-year-old. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been in Spain with his grandparents. Oh, lucky lad. Right, off to Freshco then. Oh, uh, how long are you going to be? Don't worry, there's plenty of time. OK. Oh, don't forget them uh, nice chocolate fingers. I'll be back later to collect my winnings. Yeah, of course you will. Well, thanks for letting me know. Bye. Well? They're releasing Joe's body at the funeral. Be a relief for you. Did they say anything about the investigation? Not really. Well, if they're letting you have him back, it might be significant. What do you mean? Wrapping up the investigation, accepting it was an accident? Yeah, makes sense. I mean, they know they can't prove anything, so they're releasing the body. We can have the funeral, move on. I hope so. Hey, any of you lot fancy one punch ball tonight? Oh. No, Tara. Oh, yeah. I thought they closed it down. No, it's a right pulling palace. Why would they close it down? Mainly because it houses more communicable diseases than most hospitals. If you pick some up there, you really pick some up. Oh, regularly yours, is it? That explains a lot. Will someone tell that skanky old scrubber to keep a piggy nose out of private conversations? Oh, go on. Not wrong with Punchy Jan. It'll be a laugh. Not for me, no. I'm going to have a quiet night in with Telly. Oh, when did you get all old and boring? It's Monday. I spent my wages be Friday. I'm skinned, not old. Uh, Ailey, have you any clue what Tilsley wanted with Carla? No, sorry, not a clue. Is that not a clue, not a clue? Or I can't tell you if you're just a lowly machinist? I only showed him in. We were out again soon enough. And they didn't exactly seem like Bezzy mates when he left. Well, maybe he was asking her out and she blanked him. Oh, like she'd turned down a naughty like him. Especially if she hadn't even got a fell on. He's not that special. Yeah, you're judging about your own standards. You know, desperate enough to jump on the first boat that comes along. You know, the difference between me and you, Theresa Love, is that when I do jump on a bloke, he's glad. <laughs> Still, at least you don't have to worry about losing your looks, do you? One more remark like that, and your face will be in this bucket. Oh. Oh. That's it, time's up. Everybody back to work. And please, can we try to get through the day without any further unpleasantness? Highly unlikely, I'd say. I've done jellies, ice cream, cakes, <laughs> and I come. Hey, you do know you're going to cause a stand-up row between Simon and my dad, don't you? It's his uh, guilty secret. He's a, a secret jelly addict. <laughs> Doesn't fit Ken's image so much. <laughs> well, now you know where I get my addictive personality from, don't you? Oh, I couldn't live with a jelly addict, though. Oh, here's Josh. Simon's not with you. Hey, you had a good day? <laughs> well done, Josh. Oh, you want to go inside and tell Simon to hurry up because his dad and Leanne are waiting. He's gone. He's gone? Where's he gone? His granddad came. When? During the story. Did he say where he was taking him, Josh? No. What the hell's he playing at? Well, what's the school thinking, letting George take him? Very amazed it this morning. George? It's Peter. What the hell are you doing? 
No. No, I won't calm down. I want Simon home. Yes, now. We'll see you at the flat, all right? Something happened? Sort of, yeah. They're uh, releasing Joe's body so we can have a funeral. Why well, is that down to the police or the coroner? It's the police who rang. So, where does that leave you? They didn't say. David and Nick think uh, they're probably satisfied it was an accident. But they didn't say so. I thought if you wanted to, you could help me with the arrangements. You sure? I thought I knew him. Understood him. That night when he did it, I still thought he'd realise how mad he was and come back. So I waited. And the longer I waited, the more I realised I didn't know him. It didn't change how much I loved Someone should talk about him, his life. I just don't know enough, Tina. His favorite hymns. I don't even really know how religious he was. I don't want to let him down. Gail, the one thing you do know, the one thing that everybody knows, is that he loved you and you stood by him. Even when he did stupid, crazy things. Thank you. We've got to put all the other stuff behind us now. The lies, the suspicion, and... Lay my dad to rest and move on. Is what he'd want. Here we go. Two gentlemen of Verona. Woman dressing as a man. Julia. Ought to be called two trannies of Verona. Yeah, he missed a the trick there. Imagine how successful would he have been if he'd had you to help him. I'd have helped him off the nearest cliff. It saved generations of kids the grief of having to study this rubbish. Who's your teacher? Mr Brooks. Ah, thought so. He's as much feel for Shakespeare as a baboon. Dissin Brooks? Isn't that unprofessional? Not for someone who works in a cafe. Anyway, the thing is, women weren't allowed to act in Elizabethan times. It was illegal. You are? Not respectable. Teenage boys took the female roles. So, boys were playing girls. Playing boys? Yep. Hey, you'd look good in a dress. Playing Viola from Twelfth Night or Julia from Two Trannies. Oh, yeah. What's going on? John's talking about me wearing a dress. Shakespeare. I'm helping him with his own work. Or not, if you land me in it like that again. Right, well, just don't let him con you into doing it for him. Oh, I won't. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. I can almost feel my brain actually working. <laughs> so this Viola, who's making out she's Cesario, would probably be a lad called Derek. <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself, although probably not Derek. Right, let's find an example. Three, yeah. Come up. Right, listen. Don't kick off, okay? I know you want to and you're right, but not in front of Simon. It's okay, I'm not gonna kick off. I half expected him to pull another stunt, okay? So it's all right. How do? Hey. Where is he? Uh let's sit down, eh? Have a bit of a chat. Where's my son? What are you playing at, George? Even I are gonna keep him with us just for a little while. No. No, you flaming well armed. Until I believe you are fit to look after my grandson, I'm going to keep him away from you. You can't look after yourself, never mind a vulnerable little boy. Who the hell are you to judge? I'd do anything for my son. You know that, George. You couldn't even put him before a bottle of whiskey. If I bring him back now, by next week, there would not be one of us who wouldn't believe you're capable of burning the flat down again in a drunken stupor. Now, 
I'm going to ask you for the last time, George. Where's my son? If you think that taking me on is going to get you anywhere, well, feel free. Come on, then. Just leave it, Peter. It's what he wants. Leave it. Right. I'll go and get it myself. Let's hope the funeral will bring this whole mess to a close. Especially for Mum. The sooner the better. When my son's back here, you will never see him again. And now you stay away from me. Ooh, Peter, be careful. What? what the hell have you done? Coronation Street continues in half an hour.